Camera, please. Habits of the local species. <sighs> the flight of majestic birds. Uh -oh. <laughs> the bond between parent and child. Doing what animals do. It doesn't get any wilder than this. Oh, yeah. Don't touch that dial. Or else. We now return to more of me and Animal Crackers. I'm thinking of becoming a vegetarian. <gasps> Morning! It's just new. Good news, everybody. As herd leader, I'm pleased to announce that it's time for our Seasonal stampede! Look, in winter we were snowed out, in spring we were rained out, and last summer it was a darn locust. Now, unless there's a natural disaster I've missed, we are having our stampede! <gasps> ah! Avalanche! Hey! Oh! Ow! Whoa! That better not be what I think it is. Ah! Nice entrance. Uh, all right. Who's with me? Last one of the water holes, a bandy-legged warthog. Hey, I'm herd leader. Wait for me! <laughs> Sorry, can I? Would you? Sorry. <sighs> Morning. Huh? Hmm. I'm switching to bottled water. Say, new. Uh, there's a guy back there who says he wants to challenge you for the leadership of the herd. All right, son. No need to hide behind this rock. If you've got something to say to me, let's hear it. I'm challenging you to a head-butting duel for the leadership of the herd. Tomorrow. At noon! Headbutting duel? Whatever happened to skill testing questions? I'm gonna knock you into next Thursday. Could you make it a little earlier in the week? We got bowling league Tuesday nights. Well, sometimes a news gotta do what a news gotta do. I'm kinda curious. What do news do? In this case, run like heck! Hi, Dodo. Hi, New. New? Roland the Water Buffalo challenged me to a headbutting duel for the leadership of the herd. So I've gone into hiding until things blow over. New, you can't go through life dressed as a shrub. Absolutely not. I'm a rock on weekends and holidays. Well, hope things work out for you. As for me, I've got a date with destiny. Oh. Uh, uh, everyone said it would never happen, that I didn't have what it takes to fly. But you don't have what it takes to fly. Dodos are flightless birds. Hey, mister, that's the type of negative talk that's kept me grounded for so long. There's a lesson for you in this new, the power of positive thinking. Wish me luck. Good luck. Wow, he did it. 
really did it! Maybe something can be said for the power of positive thinking. <gasps> and then again, maybe not. You know, no. there comes a time in every animal's life when he has to stand up for himself. Oh, I know. But does it have to be now? You know the old saying, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Yeah, I was thinking Hawaii. Carefully analyze your situation, New. For instance, I figured out that all I really need to do is get airborne. Once I'm airborne, my natural birdly instincts will automatically take over. Uh, maybe you should talk to Eugene. Eugene, doesn't it bother you that I've been standing here for over an hour waiting for you to finish? Nah, you've been pretty quiet. Hmm. Eugene, I need your help with something. Okay, but make it quick. Uh, I'm about to have my bubble bath. You don't have any bubble bath suds here. How can you have a bubble bath without bubble bath suds? Do you really want to know? Um, I guess not. Listen, Eugene, Roland the Water Buffalo challenged me to a headbutting duel for the leadership of the herd, but he's kind of big. You're scared! Do you want to be known as a scaredy chicken spineless no-gut new? Now that you mention it, the name doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. You think I let others push me around? You gotta have backbone. You gotta have pride. You gotta have the guts to stand up for yourself and stop letting others push you around. Here, uh, get my feet before I pulverize you. All right. I'll stand up to him. That's the spirit. You've got your dignity after all. Ooh. <laughs> uh, don't forget between the toes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't worry, gang. I've been training. So has Roland. Here come some of his sparring partners now. <laughs> My money's on you, New. You bet on me to win? No. I've got five to one, you'll still have all your teeth once he's finished with you. Are you ready to rumble? Oh, you bet. Now that's more like it. <sighs> Music, please. He said rumble, not rumba. Oh. Now, I want a good, clean headbutting duel. When we've established that new here is, in fact, out cold, Roland, I want you back in your corner. Now, butt horns and come out charging. I feel this headache coming on. Why don't we reschedule? Come on, New. Look around you. You can't let them all down. New! 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 New? Hi, Dodo. Now, why don't you just give Roland the leadership? Just give it to him? And admit defeat? No way. That would be too humiliating. Right. I may not be very good at being herd leader, but darn it, it's my job. Why would you want to do something you're not good at? <laughs> why do you keep on trying to fly? What do you mean, trying? I can fly. No, you think you can fly. You see, trying to fly is as important to you as leading the herd is to me. Chances are we'll never succeed. Speak for yourself. But the fact that we keep trying is what makes us who we are. I'm the herd leader, and no matter what Roland says or does, that won't change. I'm really going to miss that guy. the leader of this herd, and nothing you say or do will change that. Of course, if I totally pulverize you, you won't be in any condition to do much leading, will ya? He's got a point there. In fact, I can see to it that you get so pulverized, you won't even want to get out of bed in the morning. 
to tell you the truth, I'm halfway there. As soon as I'm through with you, New, I'm going to be leading this herd, whether you like it or not. And when I'm in charge, we'll have weekly stampedes and daily headbutting contests. And I'll make sure everybody wakes up at the crack of dawn. Oh, no, you won't. Because no matter how badly you beat up on New, I will not follow you. You'll never be my leader. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, I'm not gonna follow you. I guess I can never be herd leader. Well, now that's settled. No hard feelings, big guy. But I can still pulverize you just for spite. Ah. to thank everyone for supporting me. And I want you all to know that I'm going to continue to be the best leader you've ever had to settle for. Yeah! 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 Now, who's up for that stampede? Last one to the water hole is a wrinkly rhino. Hey, wait for me. It's a nice day. Maybe I'll walk. Petunia break! Stick around for more! It's about time we were gonna start more animal crackers without you. Wild Kingdom <laughs> ain't what it used to be. Either I knocked a screw loose, or that's the biggest darn weasel I've ever seen. Dodo, it's me, Lyle. Oh, hey, Lyle. Uh, looking good. Let's hope Lana thinks so, too. Yikes. Oh, Lyle, it's you. For a second there, I thought you were a giant wet weasel. <laughs> What the heck am I sitting on? Now, how'd that get there? Sheesh! I thought they were getting a filter for this thing. <laughs> Lyle! You look like you could use some cheering up. So, I'm inviting you to my birthday party! Tonight, right here at the water hole. By the way, Dodo, you're in charge of inviting everyone. I want the whole jungle to be there. Uh -huh. Whoa! The whole jungle? Tonight? That doesn't give me any time. I can't. Dodo, how'd you like to be tarred and feathered? I'm already feathered. That can change. This is hopeless. I have as much chance of getting the whole jungle to go to Eugene's birthday party as you have of getting Lana to go out with you. Hey, what kind of talk is that? Did Cleopatra give up when she was crossing the Nile? Uh, no. Did King Arthur give up when his sword got stuck in that rock? No! Did those guys who explored the North Pole give up when it got cold? Weren't some of them eaten by polar bears? They never gave up because they never quit. And they never quit because they weren't done until they finished the job. Be persistent, don't get discouraged, and don't take no for an answer. No. 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 
Well, so much for that strategy. Maybe I should have gone with chocolates instead. All right, fellas. Why don't you go over to the water hole and start putting up the decorations? <laughs> hey, Dodo! So, who's coming to my birthday party? Well, uh, so far, we've got 33 no's and two maybes. Not counting you. 33 no's and one maybe. Or me. 33 no's. No! You know what the problem is, Dodo? You're just not trying hard enough. <sighs> Actually, I think the problem is... You're a bully and no one wants to go to your birthday party! A bully? Me? You do have a bit of a temper. One more word out of you and I'm gonna swat you with this bird! Well, you've got to admit, there have been times when you've been a little... insensitive. Really? When? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hang on a second. I think there's someone on the line. <laughs> I believe a compromise is in order. Okay. How about you back up and I won't throw you over? Darn! <laughs> I can't think of anything. Here, I got you this book. Hmm. Nice guys finish first by the author of Short Guys Live Longer. Well, what's this underlying part? It's a fact. Nice guys get more presents on their birthdays. Getting your way by being nice. It's so sneaky, ah! it just might work. Thanks, Dodo. Got anything for me, Dodo? That loser's guide to getting dates. This is perfect. Thanks, Dodo! I think we're going the wrong way! Hmm. Oh, hi, Dodo. I thought you were Lana. Sorry. Hey, back off, pal. Uh, Lyle, what are you doing? It's all right here in the book you gave me. Chapter 3. Impress women with foolhardy acts of bravery. You're going to shoot yourself out of a cannon to impress Lana? No way! I've disconnected the firing mechanism. That way, I don't get hurt, but Lana still gives me credit for trying. Muffin time! I made some for everyone. Why, Eugene, how nice of you. Yeah, I'm really getting into this nice stuff. For instance, Elmo the Crocodile was complaining about his back, so I gave him a massage. Somebody help me. Can't move legs. I helped a family of birds build their nest. And I even gave a couple of tourists directions. They're my own special muffin recipes. White chocolate trout, chili cheese, and feta fudge. Uh, um, I'll save mine for later. All right. Who wants seconds? Hey, what's going on? Lyle's going to shoot himself out of a cannon to impress Lana. Not like that he won't. Here, the firing mechanism's being disconnected. There. Hey, Dodo. Where are Lyle and Eugene? Uh, Lyle's off being impressive, and Eugene is somewhere being nice. Oh. Ah. I feel someone needs my help. Want to give me a hand? What's going on, Lyle? 
Saving a girl's life is a good way to break the ice and get a conversation going. Okay, here's the plan. This is you. Why is my nose so big? Stay with me, all right? Now, when Lana reaches this point, I'll give you the signal. What's the signal? I'll hoot like an owl. Hoo! Hoo! When you hear me hoot, you push the boulder. The boulder rolls down the hill towards Lana. Then I come swinging down out of this tree. I save Lana. I'm a hero. And I get a date. All right. Positions, everyone. And they call me a dodo. Hey, Lana, come here. I want to show you something. <laughs> Lyle, if you show me that appendix scar one more time. Over there. Look at that bird with the funny hat. I don't see him. Who? Who? The bird with the funny hat. Who? Who? I said the bird with the funny hat. Uh, who? 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 I'm on. Who? Who? I said the bird with the funny hat. <laughs> Honestly, Lyle. Saved my life. You really do care. Lana, will you go out with me? Sorry, Lyle. That's one favor too many. <laughs> you see, Eugene, everyone came to your party because you were nice. And because I threatened to flatten them if they didn't. Thanks for the book, Dodo. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's something I have to do. <laughs> Thank goodness he's back to normal. <laughs> hey, pal. Hands off that remote. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. Animal crackers. It always looks so much easier on those nature shows. 